Hey everybody, this is Paul, and you're looking at a photo I took at the Pattaya Festival on 1S, Physical Graffiti. As you're reading the information, I would say it's accurate, except for Paul Thompson created it in the 90s, not the 80s. And um, in addition, it was crossed with Rixford, which is Guatemalensis, and with Nitzel, uh, which is an Undantus White, and that was created by Jim Nitzel. He was the first president of the California Rare Fruit Growers. He created Cherimoyas, Macadamia Nuts, Big Jim Loquats, and more. Now this variety is frost tolerant, and it does uh, really well in Southern California. So now you're looking at a slide of what Paul Thompson wrote himself in his book. And he wrote that uh, the seedling one, one S is described as attractive fruit with dark pink, very good flavor. And he gave it to many of his California rare fruit grower members. Now again, a drawback is it's self sterile and the fruit will be anywhere from three quarters to one and a half pounds. Now here is our 10 month update on our plant, physical graffiti. You can see I've learned a lot more about this variety than that video that kind of just started our dragon fruit obsession. So anyways here, physical graffiti is vigorous. It does not, uh, did not get any damage from the frost that I observed and here's some new growth on it you can see. So it's just starting out. Now I did purchase this one at a big brand nursery, this physical graffiti. So I was a little concerned because I've seen some variation in the fruit and the fins, uh, believe it or not. So in my humble opinion, I think there is some variety of different varieties of physical graffiti out there. So this cutting now you're looking at, I got directly from Linda Nickerson, and she got it directly from Paul Thompson's farm. Her husband and her were friends with him, and this was one of the first varieties that they got from Paul Thompson. So I know that that is definitely an accurate variety. Now the bummer is here, you can see if you're wondering why did I put some, what is that white powder on physical graffiti there? Well that is uh, diatomaceous earth. I've had a lot of uh, snails come around and ants dam damaging the tips of our dragon fruit. So you can see this is not frost damage. This was caused by bugs and now it's raining so it's rotted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until it stops raining and I'm going to tip it right here and then put a bag over it and hopefully I'm sure it will do fine. So it's a bummer. It was doing really well. It's just starting to kind of grow and then the bugs ate it. So there you go. Physical Graffiti 1S by Paul Thompson. One of my favorite dragon fruit varieties and now I have two. So there you go. Give us a like and a subscribe. We'll keep them coming. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Dude, it's creepy.